Hey there. Well, thought I'd give you guys a little update on the controller here. Um, so this is the home page. We'll start with that. We've got all our temperature readings there. Our water temperature, air and humidity, and our light. If we touch either of these, um, like that for example, we'll get the minimum max for the air. So I've been down to 66, 75 in the place. I don't know. I haven't reset that for a week, but we'll reset it. It beeps. goes back. And there we go, it can reset. Over here we've got our pH reading, ORP reading, and all the other readings that come from uh, the Atlas Scientific stamps. If you push and hold, or touch it rather, just give it a quick touch, it'll go to the next reading. Or we can go into our customized display. Down here we can select what we want to see on the home page. So we'll turn those off and only show those three and we want it to change every second and there we go and we go back in there put it to five and now that won't change for five seconds unless of course you cheat <laughs> Uh, over here we got our dosing pumps. Uh, there's four of them. Um, at the top it'll tell you what pump is dosing and it'll turn red. And if one is empty, it's at zero, it'll tell you it's empty and the pump won't run. So that's good. Uh, we touch our last feeding. There it shows how long it was. Touch it. And we can hand feed the fish, auto feed it. If we push that, our auto feeder runs, relays click and it goes to a feeding schedule and we can just stop it if we want I gotta wait till my feeder stops running here and our pH just dropped below our reading so she beeped and went blue that's why you heard that um, I'm using a really cheap stamp right now so any voltage changes the very smallest amount will affect it so yeah it's not good that way I actually don't even have a probe hooked up right now but so up here we've got our current light mode right now it's in the mid sun um, that will also show you the countdown when it's doing a fade and uh, for the moon uh, it'll show I think there's 24 different images so if it's a full moon you see a full moon half moon half moon etc uh, I think that's it for the home page and of course our relays they'll go on or off um, so I've got two temperature or two heaters plugged in here one is off one is on so if I hit resume it comes on because the schedule says it should come on but it immediately went out as soon as it read the temperature again because the temps too high and in here I can change what heater goes on and off at what temperature. So the second one's not to go off until it hits 80, and it's not 80, so it's on. So we'll turn that to 74. And there, it went out as well. Cool thing about the relays here, we'll get into that. If we customize our outlets, so now we can actually change the icons for each outlet. Um, before I explain that. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. So that's how that works. So in Relay 3, or Outlet 3 we'll call it, we have... Uh, just did all this, so <laughs> i got to remember where buttons are. Um, there's our bubbles there. So if we touch that, we can put a cooling fan there. And we can put... Okay, so example here. I've got two heaters already. The system can only t handle two heaters. So I try to add another heater and it just won't let me. If I don't put that back, like for example there, nothing happened, but it goes back to its default. The icon just doesn't update. I didn't think it was worth the code, but anyways, so yeah, we can put whatever we want on these. And then uh, our home and every other power screen will show accordingly. On our heaters, for example, well, that's a little trickier, but we can go into here and we'll take our heater off of there and we'll put our heater here. And now the heater's there and there, and 
it knows where it is. Now, if I turn to eight relays, all the screens now show just our eight there. So if we go to our power, for example, we only got control of eight outlets. Just makes it cleaner, a little slower. Right back to 16, and we've got them all. Um, while we're in customizing here, we can also customize the display. You saw that. Um, we can change the return home and our temperatures in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And we can also change our slider colors. So, how do I explain this? If you have, there, blue, white, cool white, daylight, daylight, if that's how your LEDs are set up, you tell it here. And then anytime you go to a screen, they all, so you always know what color is on what. So change it as you change. And I'll leave that for now. Um, what else do we got here? In here we have our light settings. This is for the different modes there. That's what I use for my tank. Um, there's 16 channels, of course. So if we go up here, it's on the high end. So that slider actually goes from 0 to 495. If we put it on, the problem with that though is we can't get increments down there. So we put it on low end and now it does the low end of it. So we can put it exactly where you want it. And yeah, that's what that's about. We hit here and there's our other 8 channels. So we can go back and forth between the 16 channels. Now we've got our weather. Um, this is strictly for a uh, lightning show. Um, it's set up so that you can uh, select which channel the lightning actually strikes. So if you got red on channel 11, for instance, you probably don't want red lightning. So have that off. If your whites are on channel 10 and 9, or 11 and 9 rather, um, those are the only ones that will go on and off with the uh, lightning show. Uh, you can select how long it is. This here is the cloud target, um, that basically sets the lights to a specific level for when the storm gets to, to run there or whatever. Uh, and here we have all our settings for the weather, our cloud duration, uh, how long it takes to change, and as you can see the minute, kind of cool. And of course that all changes too. And then this here, the lightning strike intensity. Um, you can really have it so that you don't freak out your fish. Um, if you don't want much of a flash, you can turn it down. There's two levels, a high and a low. Um, the controller basically uh, does random on the two. And it also, say for example, you have five channels selected there. Lightning might only strike channel two and then it might strike channel 11 and 2 at the same time, or it might strike 7 and 9 at the same time, or just 7, so it's pretty random that way, which gives you a pretty good effect. Um, and our lunar, we can turn that on or off. If it's on, you basically need a value of 30 for your LEDs, um, minimum, so that every day there's a new increment um, in the month, so when you get a full moon, the lights will be at 30 intensity and when you get a no moon obviously it'll be dark and our relay clicked uh, because we have to go in there and change all our settings because I went to Celsius so obviously in our heaters well 74 Celsius so those would all have to be changed if you like to run Celsius That. and we've got our schedules here we've got our light schedules um, for the six different uh, fade modes and if you select one there you can put the time on all the time settings <laughs> it's kind of confusing there I got all I like AM PM obviously um, I don't like the 24 hour clock but on this screen it just took so much more code for AM PM or this so 
it's this for now but now that I'm wanting to do and have the memory I am going to change that so it can be either or um, right now if we go into our set clock we can change the time up here to display either or but the rest doesn't change so one day the rest will change with that setting and if we go back to our schedule so yeah that was our light schedule here's our different power schedule the controller only had eight relays before and they weren't customizable so this is still locked to the the old schedule type thing and only six of them um, i'm gonna put 16 total one for each relay and these little icons will update according to whatever's on that uh, outlet and then yeah, you go in there change it enable it disable it whatever and we got our dosing pumps uh, the schedules for that you can pick what day you want and what time they go off for each four use our camera and our feeding schedule right now there's only two uh, schedules per day um, what I'm going to do is add a little button right here a down button and an up button up there and when you push that you'll get two more schedules and uh, yeah so it'll have four schedules total for feeding and speaking of feeding there's one little option there it says reset feed count the actual count's going to show under there but you don't want to overfeed the fish and in case somebody was playing on the controller and just kept hitting auto feed or and the feeder kept running well they could do that all day and fish will get fat and die and not be good so it will only feed uh, four times unless you uh, reset the feed count and of course here while we're here that uh, that's the schedule for what runs during the feeding if you don't want your power heads on during feeding well, that's a cooling fan but you just leave them on if you want your bubbles off it's kind of the deal there and we've got our web alerts so these are all the different alerts that uh, I'm using pushing box they're an online service it's free it uses your Google account um, changing the code for yourself is pretty self-explanatory so yeah I went that way um, you can turn which ones on and off you want none of this is at it yet uh, just in the GUI here because I'm waiting for my new board that has an Ethernet built in uh, so yeah and then we've got our audio alerts this comes through our little speaker here I don't know if you can see that but anyways I got a little speaker there and you can set different volumes for all the different things water temp if it gets over uh, 77 or under 77 rather and over 82 and then, uh, yeah she'll start screaming at you I don't like that so I disable them any beeps that this makes you can change it there I still gotta I just uh, added this actually so it's not done yet but that's the idea there uh, we've got our feeding here it's already been there our dosing so here we can set uh, our dose amount for each of our pumps, uh, refill our bottles, and do a manual dose. And our pump runs for as long as it takes, and then it updates. And then our hardware here, we've got our heaters, which we've been into. And I'll show you something here. We go to customize. And we only have one heater in the system. And that one's disabled. If I had the other heater out of there, this would also say disabled. So here's our dosing pump settings. We can set our pump rate and our dose capacity for each of the bottles. Power heads, I haven't done nothing yet there. And our Atlas stamps. This will be to calibrate it. I don't have any stamps yet, so adding the code uh, is a little difficult without testing it. So hoping someone here can help me out. But that's an old screen how I used to have it set up so just left it for now and what else do we got here so that's all the hardware I believe we got our customized we've gone through that and our system settings so here we can change the brightness of our display turn it down for the video and it's set up uh, so you can't black it right out but it will go black if you're using the auto dimmer and you can change the setting there I haven't updated 
that text yet but I added a few more increments there so you have better control and this is the auto dim so yeah how long it takes here we've got a system uh, to sync them the power head uses Omega and uh, this just puts them in uh, sync in case you uh, disconnect the power from here and change the settings and then you can restore defaults also this down here that's just uh, there for now that will show your uh, IP address um, to get on to the internet so if once you plug this into your uh, router at home it will display the address you need to type into your browser uh, to access it because a lot of people don't know what to use so that should be handy and yeah I think that's about it our set clock if we do change the time and hit save it resets or restarts rather so that uh, we can update and there we go and those refilled of course because I did that uh, what else we got here's our sensors pages uh, I just added this this will show all the data um, in one easy screen eventually if you push and hold these it'll do what it does on the home screen here this I haven't added yet but the idea there is uh, it's for water changes it'll show I like to have a uh, water temp in my hose so I know what temp I'm pumping into my tank so it'll have a nice big uh, display showing a temp and uh, it might track how many I do and when I do it and all that good stuff. Who knows? Uh, what else do we got? So yeah, if I hit storm, it's going to cloud over for as long as we set in the GUI. And it'll say lightning, it'll do a show, and then it'll fade back to uh, regular schedule. And we hit resume anytime. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see if that stands up. Nice. Uh, the resume button, so say we're in our power. It's on a schedule right now, but we can manually change it and do whatever we want. As soon as we hit resume, it goes back to the regular schedule. And uh, same with the lights. If we uh, went in here, set our temporary light mode. Now we can play with our lights all we want. It tells us we're in a temp mode and it'll stay in that mode. Um, if you come up to a fade, it won't fade while it's in there. And then uh, you hit resume, and it'll go back to whatever mode it's supposed to be in at that time. Oh, uh, what else do we got? I think that's basically it. So yeah, hope you guys like it. And if you got any comments, feedback, let me know. Love to hear it.